Hi, these comments are for RR. I am Michael from OTCOnlineTofuCourse.com. Uh, I am not 100% today. I do have the COVID-19 virus. As of yesterday, I tested positive, unfortunately. Uh, I do have a cold. I feel like I have a pretty heavy cold. So when I'm speaking, I, I may... <coughs> I might cough some as I'm talking. I have some congestion in my in my chest. All right, so let's see how you did. So you're doing uh, integrated speaking practice today. The reading explains the concept of outsider art, and then I'm sure the professor elaborates on this idea by providing one example. To begin with, according to a reading passage, outsider art is described as art that is made by people who choose to work and live out of society. To illustrate this idea, the professor provides the example of Henry Darger, an artist that had no friends, never studied art formally, and also lived them. in the 1900s in a small apartment in Chicago. Darger had hundreds of paintings that were not similar to any other painting. For example, a watercolor painting that pictured the adventure of seven children. Since Darger had difficulties painting face, he decided to put out the face of children in newspaper and paint it in the picture. And this example explained the, the, why Henry Darger is considered as an outsider artist. Okay, so uh, looking at the actual rubrics, yeah, I'm going to put you at 2.5 to 3. You did have some trouble with your delivery and maybe some minor language use issues as you were explaining the information from the reading and the listening passage. So I'm going to put you around 19 to 20 points out of 30 on this practice test. I'm going to listen to it one more, one more time. The concept of outsider art. And then I'm sure the professor elaborates on this idea by providing one example. Okay. To begin with... Okay, one example. So the, prof the professor elaborates on this idea. To a reading passage, outsider art is described as art that is made by people who choose to work and live out of society. To illustrate this idea, the professor provides the example of Henry Darger, an artist that had no friends, never studied art, formally and also live them in the 1900s. Okay, I think you're having some language use issues here. Let's listen to that sentence one more time. <coughs> Excuse me. To begin with, according to a reading passage, outsider art is described as art that is made by people who choose to work and live out of society. To illustrate this idea, the professor provides the example of Henry Darger, an artist that had no friends, never studied art formally, and also lived in the 1900s in a small apartment in Chicago. Okay. Daniel had hundreds of painted that... You want to say hundreds of. Don't forget your grammatical word ending there. Not similar to any other painting. For example, a watercolor painting that pictured the adventure of seven children. Since... Darger had difficulties painting face, he decided to cut out the face of children in newspaper and paint it in the picture. And this example explained the, the, why Henry Daniel is considered as an outsider artist. Okay, so I think that my score is pretty accurate. I'm going to say 19 to 20 points. So definitely, I think you had some unnatural type grammar in there a few times when you're trying to re-explain the information from either the reading or the listening passage and also you had some intelligibility issues so I want you to work on that tone a little bit more than you are right so you want to vary your tone more I think that's going to be something that you can work on you can go to pronunciation lessons uh, 36 through 40 um, you can do that and uh, I think that's about it. And uh, thank you for doing the practice test. And you're probably wondering, what are you doing now, Michael? Uh, I'm going to quarantine myself for two weeks because I have the virus. So I'm at home, right? And I am in a bedroom inside my house. I'm not even 
having contact with my wife or my child. So my wife puts the food right outside the door. She, she knocks on the door and then I get the food and then I put it back. So I'm staying away from uh, everybody. And my only guess is I picked it up at either Walmart or Best Buy. Uh, about a week ago, I did go to Walmart and also went to Best Buy. I wore a mask, right? <coughs> but I still got it somehow. All right. See you later, Rodrigo. And, uh, and uh, keep up the good work. You've made a lot of improvements with your speaking and your writing. So don't get frustrated sometimes if your score is not as high as you, you'd like it to be.